Um, Eglas chapter 3 verse 7, uh, I think after 8, in a work, um, Moses, after he had the, the, the burning bush encounter, about the people of Israel, the Lord went to them, I've heard, I've seen their sufferings, and I've finally come down to deliver them. He began to give me to them, and he said, I'm going to give you a lot of people, and I'm going to give you a lot of people. But as soon as the Lord then turned him as suicidal, and I'm going to give you a lot of people, and I'm going to give you a lot of people, and I'm going to give you a lot of people, I was going to say that I was going to say that I was going to say that he was really tormenting me in my dreams just to push me to kill myself. And then it happened when I came here to my Mujimu. You know, Mujimu, God set me free. I've been free. Those thoughts are my little daughter. The apostle said a lot, a lot of things to me. He said he was ushering me into a new season. But I'm with him. But I'm with him. He gave me some food. But I'm with him. Um. Oh, it's all about changing the tata, 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 and him um blessing me with that money. What I get, what I got, a new book. Can I get what I got? Two journals. But I'm with him. With him. Kore, kore. I'm sad that all night. What was coming in March? Because ever since that all night, eh. The encounter that I'm having is just too much, and the download that I'm getting from above is just too much. And really, I needed a new journal, but I got two, and I've been writing. Well, the past two days, I couldn't even sleep. I couldn't sleep because I, it was just too much. I remember also, after the all night, I think at the AD, I had an, an, an encounter, and I was told that I was being anointed with an oil of gladness. Not my There is so much joy and worry. Sometimes I can't even sleep because <laughs> because of that joy. That night I couldn't understand what was happening to me. But the man of God, the man of God has said, or you don't want to search in counters, I won't even understand. But it was not uncomfortable, it was very exciting. It happened it went on for so long and created And what I'm doing, I'm free. I'm free. And then the other, the other thing Cecilia Sabinishin was here was um can I go to your I'm in dance. And then the apostles said um Mudimu to one set up free from those days. And then that week at 80, I had this encounter. There is this man of God, he appeared to me, he told me, I've come down to set you free from your death. You are free. You own nobody, you own nothing. And then he came the second time. The second time he came, I got that said because I was shaking, I was shaking so much. I couldn't even hear what he was saying. Maybe a time again, got it off, I had another one. This time around it was God actually open I relate that to me like a friend relating to their friend, which is very unusual. I can see I can eat the come home, no, we don't have a lot of time. I don't know how to go this way, but you are that free. Okay, about Adijima and I did him and I keep on time. Then the second time he came, he said, I wonder why you still think that you are in this. You own nothing.
she didn't say anything and then I cried at the phone and then I just left her and said, please, they may not be out but now I know what it is. I do own for giving you from those days because Lena has been taking me through a healing process on time to forgive everybody who owes you so that you can see the physical manifestation of your, your blessings.